Goranges are on view yet again for our sale on the 18th of September. Another interesting sale, including, modelled here by Young Mocker, the uh, lot 126, this, this leather dog bed. Look at this, this is buttoned leather with a bespoke cushion and apparently it's very comfortable. Uh, so there we go, lot 126. Also in furniture, but perhaps not so user friendly for a dog, this rather lovely Victorian um, oak wardrobe in the aesthetic style. We open them up, look at that. Lovely fittings throughout, a little bit of tweaking to be done. One of the liners has, has come apart by the looks of things, but essentially very solid and good condition. Nice colour with the dressing table alongside it. I think a separate lot. So you've got 137 the wardrobe, 136 the dressing table. So very well made, very nice to put together, as is this model beam engine. Look at this. This is um he says, looking for the sticker, this is lot 546. It's actually a re-offer, it's been up before, but so now it's gonna be less expensive and more desirable perhaps uh, for, for having a more tempting estimate. Looks to me like it will run, looks like it's actually gonna run um, with some work perhaps to get it going, but kind of fun that. So what else do we have? We have this signal cannon over here. This was in the fine cell, it's coming back now, lot 416 in at less money. There's a, a serpentine chest here, sort of in the Georgian style, lot 131. It's got a secretaire drawer, there we see it. Um, not period, how do we know that? Well, various things. For one, proportions. That is a little bit too tall for um, a period chest that it would be trying to be of sort of 1780 or thereabouts. Uh, the veneer is a little bit thin, slightly meanly applied. Um, the style of the secretaire drawer is, is just not quite right, but still not a bad looking piece. And I think we've got a modest estimate of something like two to 300 pounds on that one to reflect what it is. Otherwise, looking around the walls, some interesting artwork, some of it by local artists, people like Murta Fisher. We've got a Prince of Wales investiture chair. We had one of these. Um, a few weeks ago, here's another one, arguably better condition, lot 128, a bit wobbly in the back, but still seems good. So let's go and have a look at the small. So here we are in the land of smalls. Interesting things. I said it had an interesting sale. It is. Look at this. Uh, this is lot 327, and you get a rather lovely George IV truncheon or, or tip staff. It's, it's more like a bommy knocker, really, isn't it? That's, uh, th there's a bit of an inscription up here. Um, you might be able to work it out which town or borough it's from. With it, you get a tip staff, sort of really a sort of from, from Broomfield, which I suspect this one is as well. Um, again, that's roundabout, that sort of George IV, William IV period. It's kind of like a, a staff of office. And a couple of swagger sticks as well. So rather fun lot that, old uh, lot 327. Interesting. Also fun, look at that. 332, it's really sort of sculptural, isn't it? It's, it's I would guess, something like South African hardwood, um, certainly African hardwood, and uh, probably native carved. But what fun, look at that, it's the lion, look at the mane and, the, and these great teeth and that sort of sticky outy tongue sticking out there, that's fun. So, a uh, couple of interesting things, passing by, lovely, look at this, in the original tin, lovely pair of epaulettes, lot 324, gorgeous gilt work on them. And again, I'm sure one can work out the regiment or what have you from a bit of research, etc. If we haven't already, if we may have done, I never know. Uh, further on, what else we got? We'll go past things like mandolins and ink stands and French clocks. A pair of Chinese vases there. I mean, some of these vases in the suite you sell take off. And we had a pair make about 40,000 quid a few weeks ago. These are, look to be sort of Qing, is my guess. But they're not, you know. You, you look at the quality of the decoration, this this is sort of pretty well printed on around the neck. Um, whereas the hand painting here does look like sort of period decoration. But, but this, to my eye, gives it away that they are not period, that they're actually pretty modern copies. But, you know, what are they going to make? They, they, the buyers get onto them and they get their, their teeth set into these lots. And sometimes they go up and up and up and they just sort of go on and make surprising sums, shall we say. 313, these won't make surprising sums, I suspect, but I think they're fun. Um, they are black forest coat hooks and look this chap is a miner he's got the miner's lamp and presumably had a sort of pickaxe or something which has been broken off his chum has the uh, shield um, excuse me I've been mining chicken houses this weekend I have black nails until it wears off probably in a month's time um, round the corner or passing the jury let's go round the corner first a few picture lots that also caught my lot um, 618 
nicely painted onto an oak panel in an old frame, Catherine of Aragon, I believe. Um, not signed, uh, I suspect an old copy of, of something well known elsewhere, but nicely painted, good looking little portrait that. Something a bit more racy perhaps is lot 617. This is um, Noel Laura Nisbet. The title, watercolour, girl admiring herself in a mirror. Looks like she's got lots to admire. Nice set of amber beads she's got. You thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? But she's got a lovely set of beads there. Um, <laughs> labels on the back to show it's been through tenants, auctioneers, heard of them in Yorkshire, and uh, a gallery in London. So there we go, that's lot 617. So some interesting art. Last of all, I'll, I'll, this catches my eye. This is John Hassel, the uh, illustrator. And um, he's obviously was doing the uh, Star Signs Aquarius. A um, little bit sort of scuffed around the edges, but still kind of fun. It is an original. It's not, it's not a copy print cut out of a book or something. That's lot 616. So some nice art, some nice sculpture, some interesting porcelain, all sorts of other goodies you can see looking across this way. Look at this stained glass panels, lot 380. They're great fun. Um, lovely big cat head there. 3.99. There's Dalton. There's booze. There's teapots. There's stuffed chaffinches. It's 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 all here as usual. So to end up, let's have a look at a few key jewelry lots. I've plucked out of Roger's strong room. So we've got here, in order of lot perhaps, 8.76. Look at that, lovely. 18 karat gold, white opal and diamond, nicely made mount. Got some quality about it. Estimate 250 to 350. 884, this rather beautifully enameled diamond set locket. It's had a bit of a bash. The Some of this decoration here is just starting to lift up, but um, otherwise it's in good order. There we are, the sort of vacant interior with a matching chain with a few little chips to it, but nice thing that's in at three to 400. 877, lovely bit of Victorian, high Victorian jewelry there. The uh, suite, um, that's estimated three to 500. Something a bit different, a pocket watch. We like our watches here. They're doing really well at the moment. Now, what do we know about this one? Well, the dial gives it away, made for the Turkish market. So initially one looks at this sort of style. It's, a, it's sometimes pair or sometimes you get triple case. Um, in this case, we are getting the triple case. That is a typical feature of a Turkish market watch. Um, if that were an in, for the English market, we'd be thinking it was around about 1700 or so but these can be a lot later um, because the, the taste there was somewhat more old fashioned. So looking at the hallmarks, yes, those are Victorian marks to my eye. The maker is Edward Pryor of London who specialized in these. It's a verge, I think he says that, is it a verge movement? It's not a verge movement, I think it's a cylinder movement, but it's very much in the style of an 18th century pocket watch and rather lovely with these three cases. Um, including that rather super, super tortoise shell one on the outside. Estimate, we've got three to 400 on it. As usual, all these things might make a bit more. 983, there's a lovely run. There's about seven or eight Jensen silver brooches. I picked this one out just because it's a bit different. We see the birds all the time and the dolphins. There is the lamb with the ivy with the usual Jensen marks on the back. Estimate 150 to 200. And to round things off, 991. Nice little twist on an eternity ring there with these. It looks sort of like it could be Cartier or somebody, but it but it's not. It's it's, it's nicely made and quality. But uh, diamond set gold nine nine one estimate is to hundred to one hundred and fifty. Probably make a little bit more. So there's the jewelry for you. Over the back we've got a whole lot more watches and curiosities. We've got some medals I can see as ever, and then under here the the silver with a good selection. There's quite a lot of silver going on at the moment, keeping Roger very busy. Uh, we've got some interesting spoons, some seal top spoons. Uh, we've got a sporran, no less. And uh, I suppose I ought to show you really, rather than just telling you we've got these things. Let's have a quick look at it. Lot 810. Gosh, look at that. Is that sort of child size? I don't know how, how you know, it looks it, doesn't it? And it's got, um, well, it's got signs of age, as they say. It looks like it's Victorian, um, with another one that perhaps is a little bit- I think it's melting. Bit, it's molting. <laughs> it is molting. I'm going to put it back. Yeah. Put Some it of back. these things are best admired from a distance. So we should put 810 back in there. Um, but rest assured, 
lots of interesting silver and not all of it is molting see i can't resist a fitted case cool look at that gold cup wow. silver gilt i imagine let's have a look yes victorian silver gilt retailed by garrard's queen's jewelers in the rather lovely box saying the late store and mortimer uh, makers to the royal that's, family and all that engraving on it. it's got an engraving on it it has it's got a rather swish um dog and halbard crest with the initial j underneath it so if you are j it's made for you there we go look 834 so as ever always something interesting lots of goodies here 19th of october fab book sale philip's book sale he'll be doing a video for that soon but um all sorts of books from 15th century Latin right through to modern first editions. Great Asimov, lovely first edition of The Hobbit, all sorts. But he can tell you about that. Uh, otherwise, this sale on the 18th, online, on view this week, on Friday and Saturday. Come along and have a good look. Well worth your while. Hope to see you there. Thank you.